Good morning. It's day 127 on trail. It's about 8 a.m. and we're just leaving Imp Shelter uh, to continue northbound through the Wildcats. Uh, it was an interesting night, night last night. Um, we set up camp in the only ground spot that the campsite had. It's run by the AMC, so we had to pay to stay there. Uh, and they had tent pads, but we get bad splashback from a tent pad, so we wanted to go on the ground. Um, but the site that they gave us was a dish, and there were thunderstorms coming. And we knew that, and we're like, nah, it'll be fine. Uh, and then, of course, it wasn't. The dish filled up with water. Our tent did not fill up with water, but we relocated um, to the shelter. Uh, so we got to the shelter in the midst of the thunderstorm, but still only about 5 p.m. Um... I think there ended up being about six of us in the shelter last night. It was really, really warm. I actually had a really good night's sleep last night, so that was really good. I think it rained on and off all night. Uh, it's just raining now, um, but more just a gentle spitting than anything else. It's quite pleasant. It's still very warm. Uh, the shelter was 0.3 off trail, and so we had to just walk 0.3 back up to the trail to get um, to where I'm standing now, and in that time I'm already really hot so the rain's quite nice um, today don't know where we're going north as far as we can um, see if we can get out of the wildcats um, maybe up to Maine but I think the Maine border might be a little bit too far for us today So we just stopped off at the Route 2 crossing at the hostel there and had a quick break. I uh, grabbed some ice cream and Raiden had a soda as well. Um, just sat and chilled for a little bit. And then as soon as we started going again, uh, it absolutely poured down with rain. It's pretty much stopped now. I uh, just got the last few drips coming from the trees and the sun's coming back out. So hopefully it'll stay clear for the next few hours as we go back up the hill and over the ridge. Uh, hoping to do another 18 k's. Um, what's that like? 12 miles or so um, to Gentian Pond tonight. Uh, there's a shelter there which we might sleep in after having such a good night's sleep in the shelter last night. Or otherwise we'll set up camp somewhere there. Uh, Going to be more rain overnight tonight probably. So it would be nice to stay dry if we can.
spent about two hours uh, sitting on the lookout just back there. Um, we're now walking about another 500 meters to Trident Coal Campsite where we're going to stay tonight. Uh, we will have walked 24 miles today, about fifth. We will have walked 24 kilometers today, about 15 miles. Uh, when we were at the lookout, um, spent a bit of time discussing, you know, the finish date of the 21st of August, and we haven't been making the miles to get to that. Um, so we've kind of decided to slow down a bit and just uh, walk the rest of the trail, however it takes us. Um, I'd still like to try and get over to Seattle to finish off the PCT by the end of the month, hopefully by the 29th, um, to make some dates work out for that for me. So that's kind of the new deadline for finishing the trail. Um, gonna leave. Originally we were trying to get there by the 21st uh, to head to a wedding, but that's not really gonna happen anymore. We're just not making the miles to make that happen. And we don't wanna have to speed up uh, through the end of the trail to get there just for that. Because we've because we've slowed down on this stretch, uh, we originally planned three day resupply and it's gonna take us four days and we're not even gonna get to the same resupply we were originally intending to get to. So tonight I'm gonna have to do a bit of sort through my food and figure out uh, how to make that stretch to make that work. We're going to go um, from Grafton Notch down towards Bethel. Um, there's a campground there with a camp store, so we're hoping we can resupply there uh, before continuing on. Originally we were hoping to get to Andover on this resupply, uh, but that required three 20 kilometer days, and at the moment we've done two 15s, so <laughs> uh, not going to make that work unfortunately. Should be crossing over into Maine tomorrow um, and then Mahusik Notch the day after and then we'll get to Grafton Notch and from there yeah resupply and then back on trail and keep heading north. It's funny I don't have any issue with slowing down and finishing the trail off a little bit later than we were hoping, you know, originally my plan was to finish the trail by the 31st of August. So, you know, we're going to be right on time um, as far as that's concerned. But <laughs> I just don't like making a plan and then not being able to follow through on it. And especially after telling you guys, you know, this is what I'm, I'm going to do and then not being able to do it. Um, especially when if we'd push some bigger miles earlier on when we could have and we were opting not to just because it was a bit hot then this really uh, wouldn't have been so hard to achieve but at the same time like I'm pretty glad that we're going to just slow down and enjoy this instead of you know pushing hard just to just to get there for a, a date that doesn't really matter because um, that's what it doesn't it doesn't really matter um, and we want to have fun. That's what we're out here for. So I think in the end it'll it'll be worth it to to do that. Yeah. Um, sounds like there's another thunderstorm on its way. Um, there's no shelter to go and hide in tonight. So I think we've better go. I have to get into the tent and try and make sure we're not going to get any splashback and stuff like that. And, um, settle down for the night.